In this video, we'll be covering feature definitions using the feature definition toolbar. Feature definitions. This can be located in the geometry ribbon. Come down here to the standards button. You click the little arrow on the right side, you'll get this drop down list. And here we have set feature definition. This will be used to uh, set or change feature definitions of objects once they've even been defined or if they did not have one. The feature definition toolbar, I'll show you this here. This actually comes up and that, this gives us our drop down and our combo box here for choosing which feature definition we're going to be using. The other one in here is match feature definition. This will be used if you have a object already placed that has a feature definition and you would like to match that feature definition you go ahead and click that it'll put it into your active feature definition when we're using the feature definition key thing you need to remember here is to go ahead and make sure that you're using the active feature definition by enabling that that actually associates the feature definition properly to the element when it is placed so I'll go ahead and show you here. If we just go ahead and select our alignment here, be on baseline, we're going to go ahead and just draw a line. You're going to see here, it doesn't associate to the right level or anything like that. It just, it just named it with that feature. Now by activating it, let me go ahead and draw the line again. You can see now that it's put on the correct symbology and it has added the correct feature to this of alignment slash geom baseline. Now that we have the correct one on there, the biggest definite difference is now that you're going to see is that the built-in tools work correctly when we are going to be doing the uh, feature definitions. So go ahead here, I'll just show you on the first one. You're going to see, see that didn't, didn't do anything. We don't get the uh, the built-in automatic annotation. So we're just going to go ahead and click this one. We'll reset. And that should take a second here, and it'll generate our stationing on this one. So now we want to say, oh, well, we did want that to actually have one. But we actually want that one to be, let's say, an entrance. So that we have that picked as our active one come back to geometry, go down here, go to set feature definition. And as you can see here, it puts in here as use active feature definition. The other option is if you don't have this, you're going to see here, it comes like this, it comes straight out. You actually have to select which one you want to use. So let's go ahead and go like that. And it auto populates the name based on this feature definition as well. So I'll go like that, I'll click to repeat. And now you see it's going to be on alignment. It's going to be on the baseline entrance. And I'll show you the match. That's going to be the same that's up here. Match feature definition. Same thing here. So what you want to do is if you have something that already does have a feature definition, you click match feature definition, click the object, and there you go. It just brings it right in. Now you're ready to use that one. It's for existing payment, you'll use the drawing production, or drawing. We're going to use our polygon tools. So typically this is how it would be done. So for like this existing payment, you're going to go, to go with an opaque, opaque solid one. Once it's done, it fills itself in. going to be doing um, the roadside. Let's go ahead and show that roadside seating. Let's go with the native. Native seating. Let's just go ahead and place down another polygon for the example seating here. I didn't want to have that filled in. We gotta make that one. We gotta make this one not filled in. Like that. And then 
we can take and use our cells. It's not the cells, it is over here in our pattern region. Not region one, it is our patterns area. There we go. There's our patterns. Hit the space bar, it'll bring up this hot pup up here. I just went into the patterns here. The pattern area of the cell. Looks like we got native, it brought in the right cell. I'm just gonna go ahead and flood. So just pick the side, click the end, and hit OK. Might not look like it came in, so what you have to do, go to drawing production, change our scale, just go down to uh, see it's coming in better there we just got to get the scale right but it went ahead and filled it in with our native seating so that's how you're going to use patterning and cells and same thing for if you got need to pattern or cross hatch anything you're going to go ahead and use the the actual the uh, feature definitions here or the element templates not the feature definitions the element templates are required for anything that needs to be shaded or filled in the feature definitions are going to be used for anything that is linear or point based. What you'll see here is our linear. We have everything from our, we've got some curves to fence to our shoulders. Um, the other thing that will be not use a feature definition would also be uh, soils for their borings and things of that nature. So points typically. These will these will be put in different areas as well. So yeah, this is under linear. So if we go into our points, we'll have our soils here. And there's our boring holes, core holes, all those. So those will actually be in here points. Um, and feature definitions linear. This will be um, here's your break lines, your draft do not construct, your match lines. Let's see what was the other special disk profiles. That's the other one that you probably use quite a bit. You got your existing disk proposed fetch grades and proposed ditch right left. So you can see this is where you're going to be finding all that stuff now. It's just not going to have that DSM designation anymore. So that covers using uh, element templates and that. In order to find those, like I said, they're in our explorer here. Under here. This is what's active in the file. This is what's going to be stored in our DGM library as far as feature definitions. Our main one is going to be the road one here. This is where you're going to find all of all of them under here. Uh, in order to add automatic template generation and things like that, we'll come in here. You have to go over to properties. You can come in here and you have to select the corridor template. This definitely typically does not come in. It's picked to be anything. Once you pick that and you use the corridor and template drop to automatically generate it, it'll do that as long as you have a active uh, terrain selected. It will do a best fit for it and then you can start working from there. Thank you very much for watching today. Have a great afternoon.